Hello, and welcome to the Science Show at the Higher Ground STEM Lab. I'm so excited that you all are here to join me today as we investigate the scientific method. The scientific method is a process that scientists use in order to investigate and to develop new ideas about the world. We usually start with a question. Now this question can be anything that you observe in life. From that question, we do a little bit of thinking. We do some background research and we can develop a hypothesis, which is just an educated guess of what we're looking for. We're gonna have a couple questions. We're gonna look at our hypotheses. What do we think is gonna happen? And then we're gonna design an experiment. And this process goes over and over again. Today, we're gonna investigate solubility. Well, what is solubility? It's the ability of something to be dissolved in a liquid. And the liquids that we are going to investigate today are water, rubbing alcohol, acetone, and oil. We're gonna do an experiment with M&Ms. I wanna know, where does this color come from? And does it come off? The second question we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about what makes the color spread on a piece of filter paper. This is permanent marker but will I get it to actually be removed? What happens to M&Ms when they're dropped in these liquids? I wanna make sure that I do exactly the same thing to every liquid solution. So here we go. I think if I pour these M&Ms in and stir for about 10 seconds. As you can see, water starts to take off the blue coloring. We're starting to get a nice blue liquid there. Let's see if any other of our samples will produce the same blue liquid. Oil is my last substance here. What we can look at at the very end of our experiment here is that water removes the blue the best. And what we know about water's properties is that it's the most polar, which tells me that the blue color must also be polar for it in order to react. Rubbing alcohol is a little bit polar, acetone is even less polar, and the oil, well, it doesn't look like it changed much at all. Some things dissolve in water better than they do other liquids, such as oil. For my next experiment, what I want to do is look at how colors spread from other sources. We talked about M&Ms, and that's delicious. We also know that Sharpies are permanent markers. But can I get any of these colors to spread or to be moved around on this filter paper? Some things react with water really well, but some things might not react with water very well. And so we actually can start to analyze what works with water and what works best with other liquids. As we start analyzing what we are looking at in this experiment, I'm noticing that water doesn't really do much for the permanent marker. Rubbing alcohol, it's kind of taking that green and making it expand out. But look what the acetone is doing. My goodness. It completely separated all of the colors there. Now, what we definitely can see is that oil doesn't like to react very much. And we know that oil and water don't mix very well. So for my final experiment, I have here a big old jar of water and oil. And what I like to do with this experiment is analyze when two things come together that are not the same, oil and water, they actually don't mix and they separate and form two different layers. This is how we can make our very own lava lamp. And I love lava lamps. Once those get to the bottom, we should start seeing some fizzies. I think we need more. Now what's happening here is the oil and water definitely don't want to mix. But 
the production of carbon dioxide is trying to get out of my flask. And so it's pushing the water up so it can escape, but then the water is settling right back down and it creates a beautiful, cool, greenish blue lava lamp. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you come back and join us again for another episode of The Science Show in the Higher Ground STEM Lab. I'm Professor Lauren, thank you so much.